What's going on guys? This is Ryan from Learning Wars for Kids and today we're playing a new game. We're playing We Need to Go Deeper. This game is a game that's in early access on Steam, but it's an awesome game to play with friends and we're going to see if we can try, try and find a random lobby today and play with some people. Um, it's, it's, if you've never heard of this game, it's a kind of a cooperative submarine type game where multiple players have to work as a team um, to succeed and basically get the deepest score um, with their submarine that they can. Um, I played it a little bit so I know a little bit of knowledge about the game. We're just going to see if we can join a game and go from there. Um, so let's go. Okay, awesome. So I found a group of people that's ready to go on an adventure and we're just going to go into it. Um, I'm a little bit newer to this game. The people that I joined said that they played a bit so I'm actually going to be on wrench duty meaning I give power. Oh yeah, look at these crab people. Um, I, I, I basically give power to, the, to them um, and, I, and I patch the holes and I do the, the chump work. Um, so I'm going to basically turn on the power for the ship. I'm going to put one in the gun and yeah. So if I press Q, I can look outside of the ship and I can, um, and I can see what's going on. If I press Q back, I go back into the ship. Um, my job is basically to, um, to control the power, um, blow the MP if we need it, lower the power, turn on the guns, etc. Right now, I have three power in one in in the in three power in the the fans and one power in the guns. Basically, if I we only have four power units, so if I want to, um, I basically need to manage them. If we run into a situation where um, we're fighting something, um, then I'm going to want to like like change change it around. We actually just hit a cave though, undersea cave as it just appears. Um, so we're all gonna hop out of the ship and go explore a little bit. So the main point of this game is basically to get as low as we can, as deep as we can, as the game is called, we need to go deeper. Um, but, ah, okay, I, I was getting wrecked a little bit by a crab, so I'm just gonna come back to the ship and sleep. But um, yeah, so the point of the game is to go as deep as we can with this submarine, but at the same time, we wanna explore a little bit. Um, through exploring, we can get a lot of a lot of things like like specialty items and stuff for our ship, um, and upgrades and stuff like that, like things on our EMP or turbines, yada yada yada. Um, TLDR: Explore caves, get upgrades, use the upgrades to get even deeper. Um, so let's keep going. Let's, let's see if we can explore anymore. Um, I think someone's out here exploring already. One guy was in the ship. We're, we're only playing with two to three players. The maximum you can play with is four, and there's two different ships you can use. Um, one ship, which uh, holds two to three players, and the other ship, which holds three to four players. Whoa, it's, uh, this crab is pretty menacing. Yeah, so you can melee. You can also get guns and stuff in this game. Um... Uh, right now, I only have a wrench on me, so I'm going to want to keep my eye out, see if I can find a gun or anything. Um, looks like, see, we just got torpedo ammunition, which is pretty nice. Um, so if we run into a boss and we need to use missiles or something, um, then we, we will be prepared. Okay, looks like we're just exploring. And what do we get? Whole integrity upgrade. Awesome. And my, my teammate looks like they have a healer. Um, okay, some guy was having mouse issues, but we're all good and we're going. Yeah, so this game is definitely a game of self-awareness, like in working with your team, basically knowing knowing what your role is, but also being a little flexible and trying to help out everyone. My role in this is to basically fix the holes in the ship and give them power, and I'm like the, the ship lackey, you know, I, I don't get to drive it. Whoa, crab, crab, crab. <laughs> um, but yeah, I don't get to drive it, I don't get to use the guns. My, my job is simply just to really, uh, yeah, thank you for the heals. Come on. Okay, I'm just going to heal once more. Some guy's mouse is having a little bit of issues, so I'm going to come down here. Tell me when you're ready. Like I said, this game is all about teamwork and communication. So if we can um, just get on the right page, if if, if I if we end up getting in a fight, um, then as long as everyone can help out and patch holes and just do their job, we should be good. So um, I believe he's in the gunner seat. So I'm gonna I'm gonna put two to guns and yeah, and let's go. So we have someone on the gunner seat. You want guns, Anna? 
basically I have a wrench out so it makes more sense that I that, that I watch the ship every time that we hit a little something there's a good chance that there's a hole comes through the ship like right now I can hear us hitting stuff so we're gonna want to um, I'm gonna want to keep walking around and looking for holes um, you see how there's like a dent over here that basically means that a hole is about to form in that area as well so you just got to keep focused keep your eye open oh now i can hear the real water coming through so let's run back up here uh, smack that hole awesome i love i love the art style in this game too it's, it's simple it reminds me of um like um what's it called uh what's that what's that game called uh something together uh, i can't even think of it the one more, eh, whatever you know, you guys know what I'm trying to talk about. It's better together or something. Oh, I am a little deep. Uh, yeah, um, like I said, I don't have any real weapons yet. I just have a, just have a wrench. So, um, I'm basically smacking these guys with my wrench. I'm just going to want to hop in the base and heal up. Nice. I'm gonna run out there. I don't know if that guy needs that gun. Um, he may already have a gun. Okay, so we also got some um, Captain Rose me memoirs, day four. So there, it looks like there is a little story too, if you if you want to go deeper and dive deep in the story. Um, but yeah, let's keep going. I'm come. I'm just gonna run to my teammate who seems like he knows he knows what he's doing. Um, Yeah, I don't know what my teammates are talking about. They're talking about some type of tool that spawns monsters or something. Oh! Yeah, and once everyone dies, it's over. So, you always have to be on the same page. You have to be watching your health. You have to stay focused on your health. Um, come on, come on. Ah. Basically, it's always more worth it to, to go back and heal than to die. Because like I said earlier, if you do die, it lowers your maximum health by 2. Meaning that if I died, my, right now my maximum health is 10. So if I died again, my maximum health would be 8. So, let's hit these crabs. Uh, I should not be the one out here fighting the crabs. I got a wrench. <laughs> these guys got guns and weapons. and I'm just out here with a wrench. I'm just going to kind of go back to the ship and heal a little bit. Like I said, I'm the, I'm the lackey today. I'm, I'm Bjorn, the, the ship lackey that just has to patch the holes. I've, I've played this game enough to understand the concept and go go a little deep with friends, but I, I don't have all upgrades and weapons and things like that. I just bought a sword, but you can only pick one item to choose to spawn with, and my teammates were saying they were going to spawn with a sword, so I didn't see much use in myself. Uh, spawning with the sword um you just have to get on the same page and it's just like if you're having and going to have a picnic or something going to have a camp going to the campgrounds with your friends you all don't want to bring the same type of things if everyone brings uh if everyone brings a cooler then you have four coolers and then no one brought the hot dogs or anything, you know you got to make sure that you're you have a little variety in the item that you bring oh what is this guy doing in here come on guy Okay, let's head out. Okay, looks like we're facing a bunch of fish. Ah, I'm gonna need to get to another cave. Yeah, as you can see, like a bunch of fish come at you, and the gunner needs to take them out. They just keep chasing us. Ah, oh, giant finding Nemo chasing us. I am. Um, I need to check, make sure there's no patches. Uh, oh, I hear water. I hear water. Where's the water? Oh, it's in this room. I feel like I keep. I keep. I feel like I keep patching holes in this room. It's like the third hole I patched in this room. What's going on? I oh, we're hitting the ground. Our pilot's uh, pretty, pretty gnarly. He's pretty reckless. So let's pat patch this up. Oh, we're facing a boss. EMP. Okay, it's my turn. EMP. Oh, this guy took my job. Awesome. Okay, it looks like we EMP'd the monster. Time to patch the hole. Basically, when we EMP, um, when once we EMP, we can't use anything. Like it sounds, all of our oh look at <laughs> look out the window. Look at him. Ooh, EMP'd him again. Oh, he's right on top of us. Oh, yeah, we blew him up. Awesome. Okay, so we're probably just gonna we found we found our first boss. We killed him, and we're probably just gonna. Try and find a cave from here and go. 
Well, we have to wait a little bit them for our power to turn on and then we'll head to a, probably another cave or something basically the emp it turns off all our powers but does a ton of damage to, to like enemies around us um but obviously like an emp sounds and we have to wait for our power to come back so we're gonna come down here and turn on that power again okay so i just gave power smack these holes basically like i said um you only have four like electrical units you can give power to so if we do run into the boss i'm wanna, gonna want to slow down on the power it looks like we're, this guy knows what, he, what he's doing we're just hitting cave to cave this is the kind of the way to do it you just hit a bunch of caves and um basically you, you'll get the best rewards and with the best rewards you can go ahead and just keep getting deeper Okay, um, after this, I, I think we're actually going to probably take a break maybe after this um, cave. Um, just because my teammates uh, taking a break and I don't want this to be a 30 minute video. I just want to show you guys this game a little bit today. Ah! <laughs> I'm, definitely, I'm definitely having fun with this game and um, it's definitely a game I'm going to keep playing in the future. I don't, I don't know how much Let's Plays of it I'm going to be doing because I kind of need a full group of people that know what they're doing. And if we do know what they're doing, it turns into like a 40 minute adventure. And if we don't know what we're doing it turns into 10 minutes of just a little bit of chaos so um yeah i hope you guys had fun watching this i don't i like i said uh i don't feel like going too far into this game because I, we i could be here for another 40 minutes but this game is i definitely want to do a spotlight of this game because it's such a cool game and it's definitely something to play with friends if you've never heard of this game and you're looking for something kind of simple kind of cooperative and just just fun just uh, kind of zone out and, and enjoy. It's a game that you can progress in, and even if you die like right away on your first submarine trip, the more that you play it, the more you'll the more you'll learn, and the better equipment you'll get over time. So it's a game that you can progress, you can get better gear the more you play. You can just keep playing and doing as much as you want, and go as deep as you want. Um, there's different ships, like I said, with the ship that we're on is only a 2-3 ship, so there is a little bit more variety, and the game is still in early access, so there's most likely going to be more ships added, more bosses added, more monsters, but there's things like pirate ships, and pirates that invade, and kind of tentacle monsters that can attack your ship, and um, the game can get pretty chaotic, and it's a pretty crazy thing. Hope you guys had fun watching, if you really want to see more, I'll, I can do more of this, you just have to leave it in the comments below. But um, today we're just doing a quick spotlight of it, and yeah, I think we did that. Um, see you guys next time on Learn Rooster Kids Let's Play. Bye.